Now to developing news, this time in South LA. Two people killed overnight when a speeding driver slams into them and then takes off on foot. Police have one person in custody. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos joins us as she follows the latest developments from the scene in South LA. Annie Rose. Pedro, good morning. Such a tragic incident. You can see behind me the two cars, one white BMW right next to it, a white Jeep. And Pedro, this is how the crash ended ultimately right here on MLK Boulevard. But how it began, police tell us, was here off of um, off of Normandy at this burger factory right around 1230 a.m. That is when police described them as two young people inside that white BMW. We were driving out of the drive through after picking up food here at Burger Factory and driving out onto Normandy. That is when they tell us a white Jeep was driving down Normandy at a very high uh, driving down MLK Boulevard, I should say, at a very high rate of speed, anywhere between 80, 90 miles per hour, slamming straight into that BMW where it took the life of the two young people inside. Police telling us more about the driver behind the wheel of the Jeep. Take a listen. What we're hearing after the collision, um, the driver fled immediately on foot. There were uh, witnesses that basically gave chase, followed him, tried to stay within uh, um, eyesight of the uh, suspect, um, which ultimately eventually led to his uh, him being taken into custody. These are some of the images of that scene just right after the crash. You can see firefighters trying to do all they can to help the victims that white BMW taking off the doors to get to them. In this video, you can also see a white Jeep was involved and damaged. We now know the driver of the white Jeep fled on foot, but is now in police custody. Neighbors say they heard the crash when it happened, one describing it as it sounding like an explosion. But she also says this intersection is one that she knows to be dangerous. Take a listen. People are driving too fast on these streets. They're not paying attention. It's, it's really bad. They changed the whole intersection with lights and stuff. And it, we still have accidents on this street. And back here live off of MLK Boulevard, you can see this entire area completely blocked off. Police telling us it will remain this way for the next couple of hours. You can see that tent over the BMW right there. That is because detectives tell me that not only are they still going through this investigation, but they are also waiting for the coroner to arrive to retrieve the bodies of those two victims. But again, one person now in custody. We don't know more about the identities of the victims, but I can tell you, Lauren and Pedro, that Surrounding me on the other side of our photographer, Dan, there are family members of those victims overcome with emotion, very upset this morning in this tragedy. And we hope to know more about the identities of those two who have lost their lives here in Exposition Park. But for now, I'll send it back to you both in the studio. Yeah, our hearts go out to those families. Just so tragic. Annie Rose, thank you.